Hello, I am My Face Story, you guys, if you um, don't know who I am, and I'm here today to do an acne scar coverage tutorial. Okay, so I'm here today to do a makeup tutorial, and I want to start off by saying that I'm not a, like, a professional makeup artist. Um, this is just how I do it and how it works for me, and a lot of people have asked me about covering up acne scars and how I go about it, so I'm here today to show you guys everything that I know <laughs> and that works for me. Um, so, I like to start with priming my face. I feel like with acne scars, since it is a texture issue, primer is really, really important. Um, my favorite primers are the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Water Primer and the Spackle Primer by Laura Geller, and that's what I'll be using today. And I feel like just like the name says, you know what Spackle's for, right? If you have, like, if you have holes in your house, you just like smooth it over. I honestly feel like that's what this does. I know it sounds bad, but it makes your skin look really nice and smooth. So, oh hey girl! So I'm gonna be using the Spackle Primer by Laura Geller, and I have a little sample of the Lorac Light Source Primer. So I'm gonna mix these two together, and you only need like a little dollop, a little dollop of Daisy. And it's also, I know it's oil free, and they have mattifying ones, they have color correcting ones, they have a bunch of different kinds. I haven't tried those, this is just the original speckle. And this is the Little Rock Light Source um, Face Primer Foundation Additive Highlighter, that's a mouthful, in the color Dawn. So I just have those two. And I'm just gonna mix it together with my finger. My hands are clean. I just washed them. And I'm just gonna put it on my face. Look how red my face got. Dude, I like, if I even just like breathe, my face gets red. I don't know why. And I'll warn you guys too, I don't look cute when I put on makeup. <laughs> I look like a crazy person, so be prepared. And I need to pin my bangs back too, that's gonna... Oh yeah, that's really cute. There we go. Oh lord. Yeah, buddy! Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna put them straight back. Oh, okay. All right, so I like to let that sit for a little bit. Make sure you get it nice and smooth all over your face. You can kind of see the light source, see the reflection on my forehead. It kind of gives it a nice little shine. I think I like that. That looks nice. And for my foundation, I go back and forth between two different ones. <laughs> this is ridiculous, I'm sorry. I go back and forth between two different ones. Um, I really like the What's it called? The L'Oreal Pro Matte and the L'Oreal Pro Glow mixed together. Um, I think they have a really good formula and especially if you have oily skin, the Pro Matte's really nice because it has some kind of technology in it that wicks away the sweat and oil throughout the day. Um, but I have been wearing less coverage lately or at least a lighter foundation in my opinion, which is, ooh, ooh, which is the Tarte. Um, this is the double, <laughs> and you can see it's very used. This is the Double Duty Beauty um, Confidence Compact, and I am in the shade Fairlight Neutral. And this foundation is super creamy. Um, you can see it's compact. I'm about to hit pan, girl. You can see it in circles. I'm about to hit pan. Um, so, I just use this with this Bare Minerals brush I've had forever. It's just flat top, condensed. If you're using a powder foundation to get fuller coverage, you're gonna want a flat top brush like this. Um, the closer are the bristles are together, the more coverage you're gonna get. Uh, yeah, so I just go in circles like this. And I am super weird. I think, <laughs> I think this is just a mental thing. But I go like this. Literally to get into like all the areas. <laughs> like I don't think, I don't know if it actually
actually works or not, but that's literally how I do my makeup. And I totally, I forgot concealer, but you know what? That's okay. We ain't that tired today. I mean, you can see the difference. This side just looks like more airbrushed and the skin tone looks even compared to this side. So, maybe, I can't tell, cause I usually, obviously I do it in a mirror, but I think that looks pretty good on that side. And yeah, so I just go in like this circular motion. That's hilarious. I literally just noticed I did this the other day because I was doing my makeup at work and someone was like, what are you doing? And I was like, what do you mean? And I was like. Is this how everyone does their makeup? I don't know. I feel like it works. So I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah, this is the Tarte Foundation. Sorry guys, this is the Tarte Foundation. Um, it's called the Confidence Double Duty Beauty Creamy Compact Foundation. And it's in Fairlight Neutral is the shade that I'm wearing. And I like it because it lasts all day. I don't have to touch it up or anything. It feels like you don't have anything on and it's so smooth. I actually got turned on to this foundation from a friend um, who also has acne and acne scars. And look at that. I think we're good. Okay, so we're done with that. And now I'm gonna move on to the blush. And I love blush, so sometimes I use more than one. And today I'm going to use the Butter Blush from Physicians Formula. Um, this is in the shade Plum Rose. I like this shade. It's like a deep mauve shade. And this is cheap too. I think it's like eight bucks. And I just do a little swipey swipey. And this brush, um, this is just an Ulta brush, like an old Ulta brush that I've had for a while. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not real professional with it. I just do it until I think I, that it looks good. And then I'm like, all right, we're done. Put a little bit more up in there. And I'm gonna use this br blush too. Uh, this is just a little sample I have. I'm not even sure what this is. Maybe it's an eyeshadow, but we're gonna use this too. And just put it up in the corner. Get a little bit more paint. And sometimes I do this thing where if I wanna look like sun-kissed, I put a little bit on my nose, just like, you know, to like match. Okay, so that's all the blush I use. Now I'm going to use, I just, okay, I really like the butter collection. I like the butter blush, I like the butter bronzer. I think it's good, it blends well, it looks good on my skin tone. Um, so I'm going to go in with this is the It Cosmetics. I think this is the airbrush, the buffing brush foundation. Don't know the exact number, but I know it's an airbrush. Um, I'm gonna go into this. This is the lighter bronzer. It's just called Light Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And I just put it a little bit right here. And then the same thing here. I mean, I feel like you don't really need too much, you know? And now, since I have bangs, I don't have to worry about my forehead, so. I've actually thought about not doing foundation on my forehead just to save money. Is that sad? Because nobody's gonna see it, so why not? So that's good. So now, I'm gonna do a little highlight now and I'll do a little highlight later too because all the highlight, we need all the highlight, yes. Um, 
And of course, I'm using ColourPop. This is the color Scrumptious. I think ColourPop just makes the best highlighters for the price. Um, and they're super, super creamy. And I mean, there we go. I put a little bit on my nose. I mean, you can see that, right? Oh yeah. Uh, I really can't tell with this lighting, but I think we're good. There we go. That's good. Maybe a little bit right there. scars on my cheeks I make them less visible kind of by using like that air like the airbrush motion kind of like buffing it in um, or if you use liquid foundation I feel like that is good too um, also I don't know I do this when I do my makeup and I think that helps probably doesn't but that's what I think helps um, highlighter drawing more attention to textured skin I think it can um, but I try to keep it kind of back here where I don't have any, and then just a little bit on my nose. I don't go like overboard with it, but I have heard that. I don't know. I wear it anyways, I don't care. Is that bad? Okay, so now I am going to, what am I gonna do? Oh, okay. So I guess I'm doing my eyes already. I, oh wait, no. Give me a second, I'm a mess. I'm using the Essence Make Me Brow. This is the bee's knees. This is comparable to like, is it Glossier or Glossier? I don't know. It's comparable to that and comparable to the Benefit Give Me Brow. They literally took the name Make Me Brow. And this is in the color Brownie Browns or Brownie Browns, Brownie, Brownie Brows. <laughs> And this just gives your brows like a little bit more umph, a little bit more texture. I don't fill them in or anything. I just use this because I already have a lot of hairs. I don't really, I don't know, I'm lazy. I don't want to like take time to wax them because then that's something I got to keep up on. I ain't about that life, girl. I got too much to do. And I know they have this in like a blonder color too, but I think they just have the two colors. You do have to go over it a couple of times, but I mean, I think it's $3. Like I'm, pr I'm pretty dang sure it's $2.99. And it works very well. So you can tell, just looks a little bit more like fuller and Yep. Shaped. Do you guys have an eyebrow that you like better? <laughs> I like this eyebrow I'm doing now better because it has this little poof right here. I don't know, I think it's cute. Oh, okay, so they also have one clear gel, says C-C-A-S-T-N. They have a clear gel and then the two brow colors. So I just use the brow color. And that is it. So you can kind of see they just look like more shaped and defined and seriously $2.99. Might as well try it. It's pretty dang good. And now I'm gonna do my eyes, finally. I love eyeshadow. It's literally like my favorite part of doing makeup. I just think it's so fun. Um, and I'm going to use today the Too Faced 
peanut butter honey limited edition palette. Um, I wasn't gonna get this palette at first, but it has a lot of cute colors in it and they work really nicely together. I really like them. I think it's kind of grungy, but also kind of natural. Like you could make some everyday looks out of it as well. So I am going to use the It Cosmetics, what is this? The All Over Shadow number 216 brush. And I'm going to go in with this color, Be Sweet. And I'm just going to go all over my eyelid. And I don't use a primer when I do my eyeshadow. I know I'm crazy, right? Um, I don't like the way it feels and I feel like it's harder to blend. I don't know. I feel like it looks better without a primer. Like it looks more natural. But that's just my own personal opinion. I know, I know some people, like my friends, like how do you do that without a primer? It stays on all day with a primer, but I don't know. I just like it like this. And also when I'm doing my colors, I do one color and then I move on to the next. I know some people do like one eye at a time. Um, I do both eyes with whichever color I'm on. And I like to move the color like down here a little bit too. So it kind of like transitions. Now I'm going to go in with this color, Ooh, this one, it's called Feel and Nutty. And I'm going to go in my crease right here, you can see. I'm just going to like work on blending that in. Sorry, I know this isn't the best, but it's kind of hard to look into your camera and do this. <laughs> so you get what you get, okay? And if you want that like smoky look, you can kind of pack it on the corner a little bit more so it kind of fades out, you know what I mean? And then just blend it. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, this is just how I do it. So hopefully it can help someone. Wow, and that was like really bad. I'm like, I'm not a makeup artist. Uh. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you guys for all the hearts. I am hearting you back with my heart. I always feel like one eye looks darker too. Like one eyebrow's always better, one eye's always darker. I'm just, I'm just a, just a mess over here. <sighs> okay. You know what? I'm pretty proud of myself. This isn't, that's not so bad. That is not so bad. All right, so. Oh, this was just a naked, naked. This is just the Urban Decay Naked eyeshadow brush I took out of the palette that I was using. Uh, this one's from the Naked 3 palette. I'm taking that same color and I'm gonna put it down here. Kind of smoke out that lower lash line. Get nice and personal with you. And now, I'm going to take the color Honey Brittle, right here, and I'm just going to press it onto my lid with my finger in the middle of my eye. Because our fingers are our best tools, right? Who needs brushes when we got our fingers? I 
And I'm just kind of tapping super lightly with my middle finger because it has kind of the least amount of pressure since you have the least control. So maybe this one would be better. You think fingers work better than brushes too. Dude, they do sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta go in with that finger because you got more control over it, you know? And then I finally am going to use the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color La La. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this like right in the middle, right here. I like barely see it, but it's like a coppery kind of reflective color. Just like that. I swear this looks sweet in person. All right, you just gotta trust me. Trust, fam, trust. Two-ish last steps. Um, so for my mascara, I go back and forth between two different ones. I'll let you guys know I kind of do have long lashes. I am hashtag blessed. I don't do anything for them. They have just been this way since I was a little bambino. So I either use the Tarte Maneater mascara or I use the Urban Decay Perversion. And I think both of those are really nice. And the perversion, I know they use something that's like the blackest black pigment that's, oh, hello, that's possible or something. I don't know, it's good, just try it. And I do like a million coats, so this might take a while. Sorry, you guys, I see all of your comments. I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to, Focus on getting this makeups done. I got all the makeups to do. So little time. Somebody, okay, so you see how it's going like that? Somebody told me that making expressions is how you, your face is, how your face ages faster. It's like, oh my God, I'm gonna be like 80 next year then because I make so many expressions like all the time. I don't know how true that is. Eh. <laughs> Anyone else make that crazy face? Like, why? Why do we do this? <sighs> okay, a million coats is done. I mean, you see that difference, fam? Oh, oh no! Oh, you know that feeling? No. That's okay, I'll fix it later. If anyone says anything, I'll just be like, why are you looking at me so close? You got an issue? Maybe a little bit after five. I'm in Eastern Standard Time. Oh, that was my, that's my, my dog. So hopefully he uh, calms down a little bit. Bear, be quiet, you hear me? He only responds to accents, so. 
I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> this is so awkward. Here we go. Here we go. This mascara is the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. Urban Decay Perversion. Here you go. I like this one. I feel like this one's kind of messy though because it has that big wand. Do you know what I mean? With like all the bristles. It's been harder to get used to because I was using the Maneater one from Tarte and that one's like a silicone wand and the bristles are spread out further. So I feel like you can get closer. Um, but yeah. And then of course, of course, well, I'm gonna let my bangs down now because I'm tired of looking like, oh my gosh, I look like the heat miser. <laughs> I think someone asked where I was from. Um, I'm from Ohio, USA, and I live in Kentucky right now. Good old, good old corn tuckies. But my husband is going back into the military, so we will be moving again once I finish my degree. All right, oh, duh. So then I usually set it with the Banish Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. That booty elixir, it's so good. So this literally keeps, I think I made a post about this. I did make a post about this. I don't think I did, I know I did. Um, I made a post about this, okay. Um, it works really well, especially in hot weather, to cool your face down or to make sure your makeup is not going to move. So we can do this. There we go. And then that's all. So this is the finished look. I'm looking through your guys' comments now. Um, you're laughing out loud. I'm glad that I entertain you. It's better to be laughing than to be bored, right? Oh, dude, I totally forgot uh, my lipstick. So it's another ColourPop, of course. And this is the color Boys Town, and this is their cream lippy sticks. I don't like their matte ones. I love their satin ones, and I like this cream formula a lot. So this is just like a, a darker nude. And that is it. There we go, that's the finished look. Um, I'm married, I look so young. I am young, I'm 22. We've been married for almost four years. I am majoring in, what is it, fine arts. <laughs> My emphasis is in ceramics, and then I'm also majoring in criminalistics. Um, do a giveaway, I did just do a giveaway, but I can ask to do another one for the fam. The foundation I'm using and the primer. Tarte. Double Duty Beauty Confidence Foundation, in case you weren't here earlier. I'm in the color Fair, Night, Fair Light Neutral. You can only get this foundation at Ulta. It's Ulta exclusive. And I'm using the primer, the Speckle from Laura Geller, along with the Light Source Primer from Laura. You don't really need this one. I just added it in to get like a little glow, but Speckle. Do you get scars from popping your pimples or is there something else? there is something else let me let me educate you so you actually get scars from it's basically from genetics it's from cystic acne so I didn't pop any of mine because I was terrified of getting scars my mom was like do not touch them you will get scars and I was like all right 
Sam, I will not touch, I will not get scars. Guess what, I got scars anyways, you know why? Because cystic acne forms so deep underneath the skin that it permanently stretches the collagen fibers in your skin and that's what creates scarring. So although picking and popping can like irritate it and damage your skin further, just having the cystic action, having the cystic acne will damage your skin if you're prone to it. So the way it was explained to me is that you could have a whole face covered with cystic acne and heal completely fine based on your genetics. Or you could have one and get the worst scar ever. It's like 100% genetics. It's about the way your skin heals and how long the pimple lingers on your face. Uh, oh, hey Lydia, what's up girl? Thank you, Angie, you're so inspiring girl. You guys are asking about the mascara. It's a perversion from Urban Decay. Oh, the mess left on my eyelid, yeah. I'm gonna have to do that off camera, cause that is like a, well, maybe I can get it. Some, oh, yeah, sometimes when I do that, I just kind of put eyeshadow on top of it cause I'm lazy. <laughs> and it does kind of go away a little bit. I know I'm not the only one, so. We're just gonna blend that back out. And voila. My name, so my real name is Callie Kushner. My Instagram name is my face story. I'm not vegan. I hope to be vegan um, eventually. I am dairy free. I think that there is a link between dairy and cystic acne, unfortunately, how much I want to doubt it. Um, <laughs> I cut it out and then the huge ones that I was getting with the whiteheads on top went away. Um, I know it's not the cure for everyone or for everything, but it definitely did help me. And I don't eat meat that much anyways. I can go a couple days and then realize, hey, I haven't had like chicken or beef or whatever in like three or four days. So yeah, I want to eventually. I just need to be educated more on like how to get protein and like different meals to make. I feel like once I'm out of school and I have more time, then I will go full force. Um, so acne scars don't stay forever. A lot of them will heal. Again, it just depends on your genetics and you know what you're doing to treat them. So you guys know I've been using Banish. That's why I'm here, hey. Um, but I have been using the Banish Acne Scar System and it's been helping me a lot. So derma rolling does work to go deeper and to stimulate like the cell reproduction. Everyone keeps asking you about my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is my face story. My face story, like a book. Tea tree is good for acne. Yes, I love tea tree oil. It's like my favorite spot treatment. <laughs> Lydia, Lydia, get off this feed girl. I see you on here. Hello. I will see you in a little. Um, I started having acne, I actually didn't have acne, like I would have one or two in high school, not anything huge, but as soon as I graduated and got into college, I developed severe cystic adult acne. So it wasn't like I've had it my whole life, it just all of a sudden came about. And I didn't do like any diet changes, no hormone changes, like nothing like that. It, my dermatologist told me it was genetics, apparently my dad had it when he was his age, just for like a couple years and then it went away. So hopefully that's the case. Powder foundation from drugstore. I don't, but I do recommend the L'Oreal Pro Matte and the L'Oreal Pro Glow from the drugstore. I think both of those are really great, but I do not 
know of any powder foundations that I like from the drugstore. I don't have a YouTube channel. Um, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Just kidding. I want to do one maybe, you know, once I have more time. But I do post videos on the acne channel on YouTube. I have a couple on there just talking about different things. Uh, my acne story, what it's like being on Accutane. Just, I don't know, a bunch of different things on there. So you can check that out. It's called the acne channel, all one word. Um, aloe vera, I have tried. I have the aloe vera from Banish and it also has the vitamin E in it. And I really like that too for scars. Okay, you guys, makeup tip from I'm Jazzy Ninja. She says, wait until the mascara dries and then you can flick it off with a Q-tip and it's amazing. So, now we know. <laughs> Tea tree is good for acne. Aloe vera is good for acne scars. For the person that asked, Hershey143. Oh my God, my Instagram name, you guys, is my face story. My face story. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who commented that. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. 30, acne hasn't gone away after so many attempts, antibiotics, now I'm going to see dermatologist for Roaccutane, tea tree burns my face. I was on Roaccutane and it did work. Um, my one year post Accutane is actually coming up and I've only gotten like, couple spots here and there so it has worked pretty well oh my gosh there's so many comments I'm sorry guys I can't read all of them um, okay, so Sarah's Max Living says that the L'Oreal powder foundation is nice when it's applied correctly and that it can cake up if you're not careful. So try that if you're looking for the drugstore powder foundation. Uh, topical treatments that I use, I don't use anything from the dermatologist except for sometimes I'll use Retin-A if I get like a cyst or a spot that won't go away. Um, and then I use the tea tree oil. Those are my two favorite um, spot treatments. Banish is good for, so Banish is actually Banish acne scarves. So it is good for acne scars, um, but it's good for acne too. You can't like derma roll if you have a bunch of acne, but you can use everything else that's in their line. The starter kit is good for active acne. It's really good. Uh, the pumpkin enzyme mask. <laughs> Girl, 10 out of 10. Okay, Lydia over here, who seems like she cannot hop off. Um, she says all about matte powder from Essence is Bay. So all about, ma all about matte powder from Essence. And their essence is super cheap. That's the brow I was using earlier that was like $2.99, so cheap. So the matte powder is probably like five, six bucks. Oh look, somebody else uses the matte powder too, Lydia. There you go, girl. I've been on Accutane for two rounds, hate it, still have to breakouts. I'm so against everything new because I've tried everything. Yeah. It does suck. I mean, I still get acne, I still get cysts, but I'm kind of come to the point where I'm just like, what else can you do? Like, I'm just, I'm just gonna live with it. I mean, I, it'll go away eventually. I can't stay on my face when I'm like 80 years old, you know what I mean? So whatever, it's annoying, but I got bigger fish to fry. Dermarolling is good for acne scars, yes. Does Banish really work? Yes, Chica, check out my page, my face story. Your mom has hyperpigmentation. 
maybe because aging, aging scars, I guess, can't use it. Yes, you can use derma roller for like fine lines too and wrinkles. That's actually what I've seen a lot of people use it for if you look up YouTube tutorials. Um, a lot of people use it for like, like, you know, those forehead wrinkles you get. They'll use it for that or like on their lips or wrinkles right here. So I think it would work for that. Okay guys, sorry, I know there's a lot of comments, but I gotta go. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any more questions, you can feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram, my face story, and yeah, I guess that's all. Um, this is the outfit I'm wearing today. Ooh, <laughs> I can't feel my feet to go to my friend's house. Pretty cute, boots. That's all I got. All right. Bye, guys.